good morning student today we will do the exercise number 14.8 okay because 14.6 and 7 are not included in your reduced syllabus okay so we will do the exercise number 14.8 from lesson number 14 important points uh, for this exercise is what is symmetrical figure what is symmetrical figure in our surroundings, we find many figures or objects which can be folded along a straight line in such a way that they are divided equally into two equal hubs or into two equal parts. Such figures or objects are called symmetrical. Am I clear? In our surroundings, we find some figures or objects which can be folded along a straight line in such a way that they are divided equally into two equal hubs or into two equal parts. Such as such figures are or objects are called symmetrical figure or symmetrical simply. For example, this is a letter D and this is a letter O. If you draw the line, the line of symmetry along this horizontally, you can fold this in two equal parts. Similarly, in O, this is the letter O. If you uh, fold this um, uh, letter, uh, letter along the straight line, that is vertical line, you will get the two equal parts. Now the second important point is line of symmetry. What is the line of symmetry? Now the line which divides a symmetrical figure into two equal parts is called a line of symmetry. Correct? The line which divides a symmetrical figure into two equal parts is called the line of symmetry. Third number important point, non-symmetrical figures. Non-symmetrical figure the figures or objects which cannot be folded or divided into two equal parts along a line are called non-symmetrical figure or objects. Okay. Again, the figures or objects which cannot be folded or divided into two equal parts along a line are called non-symmetrical figure or objects. Fourth important point, a symmetrical figure may have, a symmetrical figure may have more than one line or symmetrical line. The symmetrical line for a symmetrical figure may be one, two or more. It may be horizontally, may be vertically, may be vertically, may be diagonally. That means a symmetrical figure may have more than one line of symmetrical. The last important point is a figure cannot be both symmetrical and non-symmetrical. That means eki figure, eki sat, symmetrical, non-symmetrical nahi ho paega. That is why we can say a figure cannot be both symmetrical and non-symmetrical simultaneously. Okay. Now we will start our exercise, main exercise 14.8. Here are some pictures. Here are some pictures in the first item and question is which of these figures are symmetrical? We have to find out the figures which are symmetrical. That means we can um, fold it uh, into two equal parts along a line of symmetry. In the, from the figure we see cow, sunflower, kite, latim ball and face are symmetrical okay student now in two there are several uh, english alphabet j c x y l which of the following letters are symmetrical draw line of symmetry in case of symmetrical figures in this case we see that c x and y are symmetrical figure. We can draw the line of symmetry along the like this. C ke liye horizontal, X ke liye vertical and Y ke liye vertical line we can line of symmetry we can draw. So we can conclude that C, X, Y are symmetrical figures. 
again in three which of the following numerals are symmetrical which of the following numerals are symmetrical there are several numerals four six eight seven three out of which eight and three are symmetrical only eight and three are symmetrical okay student now in four there are uh, there are several figures several figures given here we have to draw one line of symmetry only in each of the following figure this is a rectangle we can draw a line line of symmetry along this okay vertically we can draw the line of symmetry so that we can fold this figure into two equal parts similarly this is a square uh, we can uh, draw we can draw a line of symmetry like this that is horizontally so that we can fold this uh, square into two equal parts along this line of symmetry this is a triangle if we draw a vertical line like this uh, that is vertical line of symmetry like this we can fold it to into equal parts two equal parts this is the rectangular again but there is a square also if we draw a line of symmetry along um, uh, horizontally then we can fold we can fold this figure in to make it two equal parts so line of symmetry will be like this in a last figure there are a rectangle as well as a triangle if we draw a line segment vertically then we can fold this um, uh, uh, rectangle as well as triangle along this line and we can divide this figure into two equal hubs or two equal parts okay student now your homework will be write all the classwork and draw the figures in your classwork copy thank you